Hey guys, I'm sitting on my kitchen floor because I am dragging really, 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 really hard today. But um, I went ahead and I did my grocery shopping. Usually every Sunday I go ahead and take care of my grocery shopping for the week. Um, my Usually my budget for each week for a family of five is about 120 bucks. So I went to Aldi and I went to like a local bigger grocer over here. We, it's called Jewel. I know you guys have like H-E-B and Little or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is like our bigger grocery chain. Um, I did buy a couple things because I am going to do some baking for the holidays. So that's going to be in here. And I got like pop and stuff because it was on sale. So um, yeah, and I'm just going to sit on the floor and do like an unbagging. Things first is all these pops here. I got a, what is this? 12 pay up, there are four for eight. So I got a 12 pack of Coke Zero. And then I got two 12 packs of Cherry Coke Zero. Coke Zero is my favorite. And I got a 12 pack of Sprite Zero. So yeah, and then I got those from the bigger grocer. I went ahead and picked myself up a spaghetti squash because we're gonna have um, spaghetti squash and meatballs for dinner this week. I got a big bag of granulated sugar because um, I'm going to be making sugar cookies with the girls for Christmas. So this was one of the things I needed. I got some laundry pebbles and this is the Purex crystals and I got it in the lavender blossom. It looks like this. These are so good. Like, oh, it smells so good. They, I think these work better than Downy and they're way cheaper. And Leo just told me today, he's like, I don't know what detergent you're using, but it smells super strong. This is the one. Leo went ahead and got us a, what is this called? A rib, a rib roast or what is it, babe? Oh, uh, uh, standing rib roast primer. A prime rib roast here. I'm going to throw that in the freezer and have that around New Year's. Help up some low carb mission tortillas. He really likes these six net carbs and he makes like breakfast burritos and stuff with them. And we're having pork tacos this week, so we use those. And then I picked up these M&Ms for I'm making like cake chocolate truffles or something like that. And so I got some of these to go on the top. All purpose flour for baking. I got some pizza sauce. This was three great, three net carbs for a fourth of a cup, which is a lot, because we're gonna do um, crustless pizza in the crock pot this week. So I got the pepperoncinis, because we're gonna do Mississippi pot roast this week. So we need those, those are my favorite. If you guys are ever in for like a low carb snack, I take the bricks of cheese and I cut them into slices, and then I put a couple, and then I put these on top and sprinkle a little salt, so good. And these, oh snap, these have two carbs in them. I didn't even know that. I'm still. Freaking carbs are everywhere. Yeah, all that together was like $44. No, it wasn't. It was 60 because of the meat. The meat uh, was like 22. So we got that. And off to Aldi, Leo found these like waters. So he got this one in grapefruit and another one in lime, the carbonated waters. Off into the bags, I got a hot of cauliflower because with the Mississippi pot roast, I'm gonna do mashed cauliflower on the side. I got the kids some of these little cracker things for their lunches. And then Leo gets these drop-ins, he likes those. I got a bag of limes because the kids like to eat uh, cucumbers and we put lime juice on it with some like tahini or which is salt. We got a bag of apples and a huge like bag of cuties. I got a few of these bags of lettuce because we eat a lot of salads. And I got another one of these cracker things. I got a little bit extra snacks just because they're gonna be home on break for two weeks. So, and I didn't want to go to the store early next week. So I was gonna head to that. I found these gift tags, which were really cute. Look like that. They were only 80 cents. So I picked up one of those. I got a thing of Munster cheese, zero carbs. Cheese is pretty friendly. I got um, a two and a half pounding of ground beef. 
for the crustless pizza. And then I got another gravy thing, kind of peppers. I got a big bag of chicken breasts. So what I'm gonna do with these is, um, these are pretty good if you're gonna eat like with soups or um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil them and I'm gonna shred them and make like a chicken salad with them. So for those cooking things, I like these chicken breasts. But for like if I was just gonna like fry it and like make like a chicken breast like seasoned, I wouldn't I wouldn't do this. These aren't good for that. But just for other purposes, I like them. And they're cheap, they're only like five or six bucks. And then in this bag, we got some pork rinds, because you know, low carb. The girls like these chips here, the Clancy's Cooler Ranch Dorito chips. And then I got two dozen of eggs. Eggs went out. They used to be like 70 cents. Now they're a dollar like 50. I got um, about six cans of these like diced chilies here because we're going to have taco soup for dinner one night this week. And I put those in there. Unsalted butter for my cooking, my baking. We got this thing of oven roasted turkey breast. You have six pieces for one carb. And it's really good. Like, I would just eat this, roll it up, and snack on it by itself. Um, I got some hard salami for the girls for their lunches and stuff. Leo likes this queso fresco from there. It's like a crumbly Mexican cheese. I got a thing of mayonnaise because we're having the chicken salad. I got a thing of milk for the girls' cereal. I got two of these Fit Active Chicken Broths. Um, this is the one that has no carbs, so this is like my favorite. So if you guys are going to go, I would get this one. And then I got a pack of the Crocus Polish ham, like the one pound. Um, the girls like this too, and I can roll that up, or I can fry this with my eggs in the morning. I'll take a couple pieces and fry it. You get to have two slices for one carb, and it's pretty thick. So you got a thing of napkins. The girls picked out this cereal here. I got some milk chocolate morsels for my baking. These the kids love these pizzas. So I got them two of those. I got a thing of honey buns just for like a snack for the girls. Oops. A thing of wax paper for my cookies for baking them. I got a couple things of tuna. I have some up in the counter and uh, we're gonna have tuna salad sandwiches on Friday because we both work and it's the weekend before the crisp for before Christmas and um and I got some vanilla extract because I ran out for cookies and then some more of these brown gravy packets. So yeah guys, it's super informal, super chill, just grocery haul. Just getting ready for the holidays. So basically how I shop and how to keep within my budget is I will sit down, I will make out a menu for the week and then I go through like my counters, I go through like the cabinets, I go through my fridge and I check my deep freezer in the basement to see if we are, um, what meat we have so I can kind of plan accordingly. And yeah, or sometimes, you know, we'll see like a good sale on meat and then we'll go ahead and pick it up. And you know, Leo's um, a butcher by trade, so he'll cut up the meat for us real good and we can divide it into other meals. So yeah, that's what I do. I go ahead and I make out my menu and then I make out my list and I try to stick to that list because I feel like if I go in there blindly and especially if I'm hungry, I'm doubling, doubling my limit. Like, and I don't wanna go grocery broke. You know what I mean? Because unfortunately for us, these kids are real bad about not finishing stuff or not finishing leftovers, you know? So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. Hello. There's Becky. I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to put away all these groceries, but I just want to stop in. And this is going to be a part of our Vlogmas because this is what I do every Sunday. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. And if you're new here, I would hope you would subscribe and stick around and hang out with me. All right, guys, Christmas is coming. Vlogmas is going smooth. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.